Hi, it's Brett the Herbalist, and today I'm here to talk to you about alkalizing your body and doing so in particular with your diet and connecting that with detoxing and with weight loss as well. So to start with, you might have heard uh, from the, the medical profession or from you know, the scientific community that there's a lot of skepticism around the fact that our body can become acidic and that that can be causing health problems. And the reason they say this is, fair enough, um, your blood cannot become acidic. If your blood becomes acidic, essentially you'll die fairly quickly. And that's called metabolic acidosis or chronic acidemia. Um, is it, it's a result of acidosis in the body over a long period of time that, which results in acidemia of the blood and that can be fatal and so yes we can't exist with that condition but we can exist with chronic long-term acidosis throughout the body and the body tissues and that's what I'm going to talk about today. So in recent decades, there's been a lot of research coming out showing that yes, we can in fact become diseased or in a diseased state in the body because of chronic mild acidosis throughout the body tissues. And so some of the signs you'll get that you're developing acidosis in the body are things like general aches and pains, uh, recurring kidney stones is a, a classic example, gout is another one, that, that comes and goes. So the body is in a constant state of acid accumulation, acid building up in the body. And one of the main reasons for that is because of our diets. So yes, we can accumulate acid in our diet by consuming too much of the wrong foods. And we do that in particular with the Western diet, with the processed food diet, and also with a high protein diet. So one of the things that's been talked about a lot recently for weight loss is high protein diets. And that's not the best thing to do for the long term because high protein is high acid, high acid load. And so it puts more and more stress on your kidneys. And that's why people that consume a lot of meat often get kidney stones. Um, other things that are acid forming are alcohol, uh, sugars, uh, but in particular it's the high protein diets that are the, the main problem. So it's good to go on an alkalizing diet to reduce the acid load in your body. So what a high protein diet is that it's continually loading up your body with acid that has to be eliminated by your kidneys. And we don't want to overload the kidneys. So, and as you get older, also the kidneys become less and less capable of eliminating that acid. And that acid starts to accumulate in the body tissues and the problems that it causes can be just aches and pains and because acid uh, attacks the body it's like rust so it attacks the muscles and the bones and the connective tissue and of course your body will try to compensate for that acid by dumping minerals from the bones alkaline minerals calcium and magnesium from the bones and of course an attempt to alkalize the the body so in effect, you can end up with osteoporosis as a result of a high acid load and chronic acidosis in the body over a long period of time. So a number of reasons to go on an alkaline diet. And of course, an alkaline diet consists of, guess what? Lots of fruit and vegetables, because fruit and vegetables are very, very high in potassium. And potassium is the major alkaline mineral that helps to balance the body's pH. So you've got to have lots and lots of fruit and vegetables. And don't worry about acid in the food. For example, lemons and tomatoes and things like that. The acid in the food is not going to cause you to become acidic. Because it's not the acid that you get immediately from the food. It's the long-term build-up from high-protein diet that, that causes the acid to build up. So there's a couple of ideas. And also another thing you can do to eliminate acid from your body is to breathe because there's a buffering system within the body's blood that takes the CO2 out of the body and the acid along with it. So um, it, it combines with the hydrogen and takes it out of your body. So an important thing to do is to breathe deeply and that's why meditative yogic breathing has a powerful alkalizing effect on your body. So if you combine those two things, a alkaline diet with lots of fresh fruit and vegetables and lots of deep breathing and cut down on the protein you'll take a load off your kidneys and your body will start to cope with the acid a lot better aches and pains will reduce not to mention our body can start to 
um, lose weight because it's also been shown that when we have high acid levels in the body that our growth hormone goes down and our muscles start to waste away. And so we lose the capacity to grow muscle mass and retain muscle mass as a result of being acidic. So when we alkalize, we have more muscle mass growth, more growth hormone, more strength, um, breathing properly as well, be very, very important to helping with weight loss. So there you go, once you combine these things, you start to get a, a, what's called a detox going on in the body. Your body starts to eliminate built up acid. Your body starts to heal itself, aches and pains reduce. You have a lot more energy and you'll lose weight as a result of that. So I hope that's been helpful and I hope uh, that's given you a little bit of an understanding about acidosis and alkaline diet. And yeah, read the information on the page, um, click on the links around this video, find out more information and, and really get an understanding of it. So if anybody ever says to you, your body can't become acidic, you can set them straight. Thanks for watching.